which the sellers can actually see let's say daily how many products has been sold right or maybe last monthly how many products has been sold right there should be dedicated alerts for any kind of a i would say issues or concerns that have been raised by the customer so some kind of an alert mechanism on the admin side also we will need overall this if you see the design then this overall system design was majorly around designing an e-commerce platform around with some alert mechanism and on top of it there should be some monitoring and metric dashboard where people can actually see what is the overall metrics coming up hello everyone i'm sanket singh and welcome back to my channel so guys recently i uploaded a video on the channel where i talked about what was the detailed machine coding round question that was asked to me in my flipkart coding interviews now in that particular video i already mentioned that companies like flipkart mintra intuit walmart all of these follows kind of like a similar kind of a pattern with a similar kind of difficulties when it is uh, for asking questions around low level design high level design and data structures and algorithms now in this particular video i'm going to talk about in detail around the high level design round that was uh, actually done with flipkart right i'm going to talk about what was the problem how i actually approached the problem and what were some of the caveats that i had to keep in mind while uh, actually solving the overall problem just to give you a quick note in the overall flipkart interview process there were mainly three technical rounds and one manager round where the first one was the machine coding round on which i have already made a, a dedicated video the second one was a data structures and algorithmic round if you want me to put a detailed video on the data structures and algorithmic round for flipkart do let me know in the comment section below and the third round was the high level design round which we are going to talk about in this particular video later there was a hiring manager round as well which was sort of kind of like a technical discussion only but with overall projects that i actually worked with so without any further ado let's just start and let's start talking about what were the questions that were asked to me in my high level design interview for flipkart so before moving forward i would like to discuss about a brand new offering that we have at algocamp so if you are somebody who already knows software development and are very much intrigued by the crazy amount of stuff that you can actually develop using the knowledge of your software development then this is going to be something interesting for you so if you are somebody who loves to take deeper dive into everything and wants to understand that how exactly scalable systems are developed not just on the high level part but on the low level coding implementation part as well then we have actually launched our brand new system design course which which includes both the low level design aspect and the high level design aspect of the scalable systems in this particular course with respect to hld we are going to talk about a lot of systems including system design of things like uber streaming systems like netflix how you can actually design your own ad click aggregator how you can design scalable notifications how you can you design code deployment systems and many more there are tons and tons of high level design problems that we have added apart from that there are a lot of interesting system design concepts that we have actually added including design patterns like saga pattern anti corruption layer pattern we have also added orchestration pattern and some other interesting aspects around caching layer blob storages and what not this is going to be a power packed course for high level design and along with that there is low level design as well where we are going to talk about solid principle we are going to talk about tons and tons of different design patterns and we are going to solve a lot of problems including designing your own logger designing kind of like a chess game designing kind of like a book my show system a split wise and what not this low level design part is going to technically prepare you for any kind of a low level design or object oriented interview as well as for your machine coding interviews as well this is going to be a definitely a power packed live course where we are going to talk about everything end to end in system design and we have also added some additional topics around concurrency and testing as well so what are you waiting for all the details about this particular course is actually mentioned in the description section below go there check it out and use this particular coupon code to actually get the maximum possible discount and see you guys in the course that being said let's go back to the video in this particular high level design round uh, the problem statement that was asked to me was already related to uh, e-commerce applications only so before i deep dive take a deeper dive into the problem statement i always emphasize on this particular fact that whenever you are going to appear for a system design round at least based on my own experience what kind of questions you can expect is either from the systems that probably you have already worked with right or the kind of systems that the other person or the team that you are interviewing for is actually working with right like for example if you are interviewing for a e-commerce platform then there can be a case that something somewhere related to an e-commerce platform kind of a design round can be asked a design question can be asked to you or some system design around whatever you have worked on can be asked to you 
there is like only 20 to 30 percent chance where people will ask you just like a random system design on a system where you have like never worked with and that also like gives you even a benefit only only because in those kind of cases people do not expect you like very accurate answers altogether and they want to actually see what kind of trade-off based knowledge and what kind of exploratory knowledge you already have now coming back to the question that i uh, was asked in this particular interview was the team that i was introing for was actually making a bit of a search functionality but on the grocery end that was the flip card for grocery part right and they were also managing the inventory side of things as well right so there were two basic basic verticals that this uh, team was mainly handling right so the question that was asked to me was also somewhere around it only that okay let's say if you have to uh, kind of like make make an admin side of uh, this particular inventory system where the admins can actually search for different different products actually see what are what are the products are present in the inventory right uh, what are the products that are going to be let's say out soon set up some alert mechanisms and so on so like the overall problem statement was like very broad that okay you have to prepare an inventory system but for the sellers or the admin side where the sellers can actually search for products and have a look and all look around all the status that they have around the products as well right so this was the overall problem statement that was given to me and it was up to me that i do the main uh, functional and non functional requirement distinguishment so for the functional requirement i went uh, went ahead with a couple of basic features that people should be able to add delete and manage all the products in the inventory there should be some kind of an alert that can be set up in place maybe a, a let's say a daily alert or a weekly alert or a monthly alert based on whatever is the custom requirement based on which the sellers can actually see let's say daily how many products has been sold right or maybe last monthly how many products has been sold right there should be dedicated alerts for any kind of a i would say issues or concerns that have been raised by the customer so some kind of an alert mechanism on the admin side also we will need apart from that the seller should be able to technically have some kind of a pricing uh, allocation as well where the sellers can actually see what has been the period like past pricing of their products and how exactly the data has performed with a particular set of price in a particular sale how much uh, they were able to uh, sell the products what was the overall sale metrics like there should be a dedicated end to end dashboard where they should be able to see their overall numbers right apart from that the sellers should also have a mechanism to be able to communicate with customers in case they have some kind of issues so these kind of functional requirements i majorly went ahead so that we can keep the design around kind of like focused on some specific functional requirements i didn't i don't want to be in a case where i'm just talking about a lot of functional requirements and then eventually i'm not able to fulfill uh, like most of them right so overall this if you see the design then this overall system design was majorly around designing an e-commerce platform around with some alert mechanism and on top of it there should be some monitoring and metric dashboard where people can actually see what is the overall metrics coming up right so this was the functional requirements that i actually proposed in terms of non functional requirements the consistency of the system was expected to be let's say on the higher side right uh, the availability was also expected on the higher side because we don't want to be in a situation where the sellers are not able to let's say upload the products or add their products or add their inventories or update their inventories altogether and the consistency also needs to be very high because in case let's say there were 10 products in the inventory and two users have let, let's say bought seven of them so the final count that is the remaining three should be technically present so uh, we were not able to like we, we don't we don't want any compromise on the consistency of the system as well as the availability of the system right so these were the kind of like the basic function uh, non-functional requirements uh, a few more non-functional requirements were there that uh, the system should be able to scale itself up in case of sale because there are seasons of sale in e-commerce platform right where the overall traffic can increase both from the customer side and the seller side so this inventory system will also be impacted by the increase in the number of customers coming on the platform why because if they are going to put more orders on the system then technically uh, those orders are going to somewhere somewhat uh, going to communicate with our inventory management system as well so if this invent if let's say we prepare an inventory management service then that service is also going to get a lot of load altogether right so these were some of the non functional requirements that we technically went ahead now how did i approach the overall problem so see like designing an e-commerce platform is a very regular i would say uh, system design questions if you are preparing system design from any particular platform or any particular youtube tutorials and everything right you will definitely find some kind of an e-commerce management uh, system design right it's a very famous question you will find a lot of lead code articles so i was also kind of like prepared in my mind that if something around e-commerce comes up we should be able to technically handle that right so i approach the problem in a very similar way that how i approach most of my system design questions that after the functional and the non-functional requirement part i do some 
some uh, estimation analysis around the number of let's say the QPS that we are looking at the storage analysis that we are looking at and post that I at least propose a basic system design now considering the fact that this inventory management system can also have to uh, scale up according to the you know, I would say increase in number of customer orders right so of course a horizontally horizontally scaled system would definitely work here apart from that like some basic uh, software design choices for example the order management system is also going to interact with the inventory management system so the databases here we were looking at rdbms why because we want some uh, good transactional capabilities right we want to make sure that whatever are the order related data we should be able to store in relational databases so that we can uh, put uh, all the i would say isolations and we should not be in a situation where let's say there is one product left in the inventory and two people have actually ordered that we don't want to even into that situation so we want high isolation for any kind of a transaction that we are technically looking at so i tried to go forward with the basic system design i added most of the microservices that i was able to think in case a microservice needs a horizontal scaling adding a load balancer on top of it and i also made sure that let's say a few uh, like i added this feature on uh, like on the go that let's say if the sellers want and knows that this is a high uh, top selling feature a uh, top selling product and a lot of people are actually going to look for it then they can actually mark that product as a top selling product or let's say a high in demand product from the seller side as well why because of course as flipkart's own system will be having some data that okay uh, these products are very high demand for example something like iphone but there can be a case that there are few products that are being newly launched and the sellers note that this is high demand but we are launching it for the very first time on flipkart so there will be a lot of traffic here this actually helps flip this will actually help the overall flipkart system only to actually know that okay this these kind of products can also be fetched a lot of time from the users so maybe they can actually keep them uh, very ready in some cash instances right so that they do not have to like query the database again and again in order to fetch the data apart from that uh, we can also like just as as i mentioned that if we know that there are some products like iphone we can also uh, keep their data in the cache systems already ready so that we do not have to like query the database again and again for them right so a basic system design i actually uh, moved forward with like the basic uh, database setup all the microservice setup horizontal scale setup and so on right once the basic system design was done and the interviewer was also like kind of like good uh, um, agreed to the overall system design then we started taking deeper dive into individual problems like how will we set up alert mechanisms right so this alerting kind of a system will need some kind of a queuing mechanism as well right so we were having kind of like kafka messaging system system so that we can have individual topics set up in place which where people can actually add uh, like where people can actually get their alerts and we can actually process all of the alerts that are coming let's say per day or let's say per month separately and then individually let's say shoot up an email or maybe they can have a dedicated dashboard where they can see all of the alerts and everything that are coming up right let's say the inventory is going down or let's say whatever the sale has been all of that and if we will be having all of this data processed already then putting them into dashboard will be something that we can technically do right we expected that okay the dashboard is not going to be like uh, kind of like real time there can be let's say some some kind of a delay like for example when an order has been placed there can be a case that uh, the same order will not immediately reflect on the dashboard why because for every order we would like to collect the order details in kafka and let later process it and after processing uh, let's say dump it in a data storage where from where our dashboards can actually pick up the data so these kind of uh, i would say trade offs we actually looked at we were able to see that okay not everything can be in real real time aspect right we can give some real time capabilities to the sellers if they have this admin side let's say something like a chat can have something like real time but like let's say the overall dashboard and the overall summary can be something periodic let's say every hour or every day depending on what kind of a scale we are technically looking at because if you will see a lot of systems like this where people are actually selling something any uh, let's say um, i would say online goods or offline goods whatever you have a lot of dashboards actually keep the strategy that they update themselves let's say hourly or daily that let's say whatever has been the sale in the past 24 hours gets updated at let's say at night 1 pm or let's say 12 midnight something like that so we also went forward with that approach and the overall uh, i would say interviewer was able to get the idea that okay uh, these trade offs will work for us so these kind of deep dives we actually take and uh, the overall like i was able to like comfortably sail through through the whole system why because i was kind of like prepared that some kind of e-commerce interactions can actually come up so i actually read a lot of articles from lead code you can also check out uh, like lead code discuss section where you will find a lot of articles coming up for e-commerce discussions around system design which i also actually got prepared with so this was the kind of like uh, approach that i took forward in order to make sure that the overall system design round is kind of like smooth 
so overall my final thoughts were that uh, this round was kind of like medium of a medium difficulty why because i was kind of like already prepared for that as well right i believe the overall questions that were being asked in the round were very interesting and were very much related to the system that they were already working with right they also asked me some questions around the search aspect that how we can improve search or maybe how we can in like i i started uh with the integration of elastic search they said that okay where else you have probably used elastic search yourself they were all, not just uh interested in listening to me that okay how will i system design a system they were also interested to listen that okay have i worked with this kind of a comp system component in my earlier uh days of anywhere at linkedin or google anywhere right so that that was an interesting part and i really liked it so i believe if you are also going forward with the system design round make sure you also keep in mind where you have probably interacted with some similar kind of a system component and if somebody asks you you can definitely answer that so this was something that i would generally recommend to a lot of people that being said i hope this overall discussion was fruitful for you guys and you guys were able to understand what kind of a difficulty you can expect in a flipkart high level design uh, round interview as well If you have any questions feel free to drop them in the comment section below I would be happy to answer all of them That being said let's start this particular video here we are going to meet soon in the next set of videos till then take care guys bye bye I am Sanket Singh signing off